Hello everyone, my name is Yanis, and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can supercharge your ChatGPT by connecting it to over 10,000 apps on make.com no code automation platform. So as you can see on make.com we have all these apps and we can connect our ChatGPT to these apps directly from ChatGPT interface by sending the data that ChatGPT generates over webhook to uh, make.com and then we can use this data in our no code automations to do certain tasks for example in this video i'm going to show you how you can uh, simply uh, turn an image into google doc if you are like for example uploading an image to ChatGPT, asking it to analyze it write the text that's on the image so you can get editable text and then you copy this text to a Google Doc, I can show you how you can do it automatically. If you will follow the steps here and uh, you will understand how this system works, then you probably can do more sophisticated stuff with this, depending on your needs. So let's get started. So the first step uh, is we need to explore our GPTs and we're going to click on create a GPT. A GPT is a special chat GPT instance that does only a specific task that you have instructed him to do. So for example, in this case, I'm going to instruct this GPT to analyze image and send title and body uh, text to a webhook. We're going to give this one a name. We're going to call it Mm, GPT to Google Doc or GPT image to Google Doc. Then we're gonna check this code uh, interpreter. Um, we're gonna enable it and the magic will happen here when we're gonna click on create new action. So here we're gonna give a chat GPT schema how to send the data to a webhook to make.com. So uh, first, what we're going to do is we're going to open new window with chat GPT. And we're going to ask him to write a schema for GPT that will send title and body to a webhook. And we're going to go to our make.com scenario. This is a blank scenario. And we're going to add a webhook and custom webhook here. We're going to click on add here and then we're going to give him a name. So it's GPT image to Google Doc. We're going to click save. And we're going to copy this address. And we're going to paste it here. And ChatGPT will now write a schema for our uh, GPT. Mm, this is a little bit wrong. We need him to do it like this. So we're going to click on example. So blank template and it should be it should be like this. And we're going to give him this uh, schema here. So we're going to copy this one. And then we're going to give this to ChatGPT here. And it should be all right. So let's test this. Uh, so this is uh, expecting some sort of data in here. As you can see, this one is scrolling. So we're going to click on test. And it's now talking to connector. We're going to click on confirm. And as you can see, it successfully sent the data. Let's see. Yeah. So this webhook received data. So what I'm going to do now, so I'm going to come back here. I'm going to click create only me save. We now save this GPT. And we're going to click view GPT. I'm going to close this one so we have more space. So here I have a um, instruction of uh, a monitor. 
uh, and I'm gonna take a photo with my phone of this page. I'm gonna airdrop the photo to uh, to my Mac, and then I'm gonna upload this photo and send it to make.com. So one second. If I had the ChatGPT app, and I do have ChatGPT app on my phone, but just for the video purposes, I find it easier to film, to record my screen than to record my phone screen. So um, I'm gonna just airdrop the image. I'm gonna accept, save to downloads, and JPEG image here, and ask him to analyze the image, send to webhook. Uh, we're gonna run this once while well, it's analyzing this. So here's the image I took. It's now talking to connector. So this is very easy. So you don't have to scan documents. Uh, you'll be able to save them to Google Docs, and then you have an editable document on Google Docs that you can change or how you want. So we're gonna click on confirm here. And as you can see here, it says successfully, let's see in make.com. And you can see we have the title and also the body content that we had. So what we're going to do now is simply add Google Docs module, um, create a document uh, name. We're going to have title content. We're going to have title and body my drive let's choose a folder so we can locate it easier so here whatever yeah save and let's do this one more time so let's have this image here and copy this one and paste here so and send this again oh remember to have this on and once ChatGPT is done we should have a google doc in our google drive we don't have to copy paste anything from chat gpt we can connect it to make.com and and let make.com do its magic uh, by creating a google doc for us so we got an error why we get an error oh there's no scenario listening so now let's let's try again please try again hopefully now everything works correctly and you can do this the same thing for example you want to write up blog articles from your chat gpt uh, interface once you are happy with the article you can send it to make.com and then make.com will publish it to your wordpress or you can uh, create data tables on Google Sheets with the data that um, ChatGPT provides. So as you can see here, it has been successfully sent and data has been received and Google Doc has been created. So let's go out uh, to our Google, uh, Google Drive. I might need to switch accounts here. Yeah, so here is uh, uh, the, uh, the data from the image. And you can see I now can edit it as I want. Hello. And yeah. So this is a simple use how you can do it. And I just wanted to show you that you can do it. And also give you an idea how you can take use of it. So. So if you like the video, click the like button, maybe share it with your friends. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel for more no code automations, AI tips and tricks. If you want to contact me to build more sophisticated automations or coach you, my contact details will be in the description. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.